You know, when I look, when I'm, oh, I was gonna say, when I'm looking which way to go, I always seem to look the wrong way. Apparently this is the right way. Hello, friends. Ouch. Look at them all just watching. Oh, nice. Come on, let's go. Hey, well, where's Abby? She's bit. Keep back. Hey, don't put that fucking thing in hey, me. Hey, 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 hey. Abby tried to escape. She's down in the pillars. The pillars? Head down to the beach. You won't miss it. She's probably already dead. Well, you're welcome, everyone. God, Ellie, you are fucked up. Oh, we're gonna find it, don't worry. Fucking dark down here though. Cafe and grill. You good, Ellie? Come on. You know, there are so many references to part one. This is literally like when Joel got shanked. When he when he dropped on that that pole in the university and got a hole through him. Literally the same place as well. The same, the injury is the same place. They're really fucking him up, which I mean, I don't blame him. Do not blame him. God, it's so eerie. It's kind of dark as well. I guess it's getting dark, evening. Seems to have come on pretty quick, though. Here we go. This, yeah, this is so fucking grim. Now, where the fuck is Abby? Abby? Wait, that's Lev? That's Lev. Ouch. Oh, God. That would hurt. <laughs> oh, you couldn't let him down gentler? Thank God damn. I got you. I got you. 
I like how she's like, she's not really sure what to do. Like, what to make of it. They're both this way. Because <laughs> in a way, that is like Joel and Ellie. Like, there's so many references to the to the thingy, and you can literally say that a lot of part two is just Ellie and Joel's shoes. Fuck me, man. That is grim. Oh god. Yeah. I can't let you leave. I'm not doing this. She will. He's not a part of this. You made him a part of this. Okay. Okay. Like as well, Ellie fights with a knife when she has got nothing. Honestly, this is the worst part of this game. I 
Ouch, ouch, I'm getting beat. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ouch. I wonder if Abby can actually kill you at, at this, this point. Because she's never actually killed me. But my screen is fucked. Uh, oh. oh my god, she can! Oh my god, she can! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> well... Ouch! Well, back home. God, this game is so fucking heavy. <sighs> Just a little stumps on the fingers as well. Fucking hell. She also has a bag open a little bit as well. I've noticed that.
I also like how there's nothing in here. Like, how she took everything back to Jackson with her? What, she's got like a fucking rental move crew or something? How did she take all that back to Jackson on a horse? Even if she had loads of them come and help her take it all away. What? What the fuck, man? They're literally putting furniture on a horse. You know what I mean? It's it's odd. Ah, oh, Ellie. Yeah, and she's like, oh, this is all Ellie's shit. Drinking coffee. Where'd you get that? Uh, those people that came through last week. Hmm. I'm a little embarrassed as to what I had to trade to get it, but I'm back. I had Seth under control. Yeah, I know. And you need to stop harassing Jesse about my patrols. Okay. Uh, Dana. Is she your girlfriend? No. No, she... That was just one kiss. It doesn't mean anything. She just... I don't know why she did that. But you do like her. <sighs> so stupid. I have no idea what that girl's intentions are, but... But I do know that she would be lucky to have you. Oh, Joel. You're such an asshole. I'm not 
trying to. I was supposed to die in that hospital. My life would have fucking mattered. But you took that from me. Somehow, the Lord gave me a second chance at that moment. I would do it all over again. I don't think I can ever forgive you for that. But I would like to try. God, this game just knows how to... <laughs> Hit you in the fields. Okay. I'll see you around. Yep. And there you have it. Last of Us Part 2. <sighs> so obviously when it came when it first came out, well before it first came out, the ending was leaked. And that was the ending that a lot of people were really not happy about. Obviously, because a lot of people wanted Abby to die. They wanted Abby, uh, Ellie to kill Abby. And at first I did as well. Um, but I can understand that ending because, yeah, because obviously Ellie feels a lot of guilt for the, rela the state of the relationship with her and Joel when he was killed. And obviously she hates Abby, I think more for the fact that she was willing to and wanted to try and uh, fix her relationship. Like she said, she wanted to try and forgive him, but Abby took that from her. But at the same time, at the end, then when they're both fighting in the, in the sea, they're both evenly matched. Like Abby has been starved to the point that she's lost her muscles 
she's weak. Um, Ellie's really injured, and they're both just kind of floundering about, fighting. But they evenly matched. So I think the game is supposed to show you that Abby's done some bad things. Ellie's done some bad things. And Joel did as well. But that Abby and Ellie really aren't that different. Like, they've been through similar stuff, they've made similar choices. And that if they had met in different circumstances, they probably would have been pretty good friends. And even though Ellie feels so guilty, I think, about Joel dying and about the relationship and the things, some of the things that she said to him, or some of the things that, some, like, some of the ways she treated him before he died, she realizes that this murder spree is not Ellie, it's not who she is. Like, you can really see how it affects her when she kills Nora. Like, she's shaking, she's really kind of traumatized by the fact that she basically tortured her to get information on Abby. And I guess in that instance, she's just thinking, well, you know, so many people have died on Abby's side, on Ellie's side, for this revenge arc. And I guess Abby saying go, uh, Ellie saying go, is her way of kind of letting it all go. But I don't think Joel would have been angry at her for not killing Abby. And I think the way that she kind of goes on the revenge arc kind of says that the way it affects her it's not who she is yeah joel would have done it because that's just who joel is but ellie has never killed anyone unless it was life or death until she decided to go on this murder spree and even then nora really was the only one that she killed when it wasn't kill or be killed because even though she met some of the other ones well it was Mel and Owen as well at the end but those three were really the only ones that she killed when it wasn't kill or be killed and her doing that just basically just to murder you can see that it weighs heavily on her and I think her, when Abby says that she helped Levin Yara to lighten the load a bit, I think Ellie letting Abby go at the end was her way of trying to lighten the load a bit. Because they've done pretty shitty things to each other, like they've killed each of his friends and stuff. Obviously, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I mean... I don't know if I'd do any different, to be honest, because the fight at the end, when you see how weak and injured they both are, it just... It's hard to kill someone in that state. So... Yeah. I think it's a fitting ending. It's, ob it's obvious... Yeah, I don't know. Obviously... The endings are both vastly different on part one and part two because the main characters are different. Like, obviously, in part one, the ending is you slaughter so many people to save Ellie. And then although you've, like, gone on this revenge thing as Ellie, you let the main person who killed Joel go. Because after all... After how she felt and the regret and the things, I think that she felt when she killed Nora, Mel, and Owen. I just don't think she had it in her to do it again. And that's why she let Abby and Lev go. <sighs> yeah. It's, it's a game that the ending has a lot more meaning than I think a lot of people want to understand I think a lot of people were just angry that she didn't kill El uh, Abby, like she let her go 
but I can understand why she did that. But that, all the flashbacks of Joel just break my heart because I fucking loved Joel. But there you are, The Last of Us Part 2. Apparently it's a part three coming out at some point. I have heard rumors about that. I'm not sure how they'd kind of do that, but it would be nice to kind of see what happened to Ellie after. It would be really nice if she could get a happy ending because I think she really deserves it. Um, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, I guess we'll see. But that's where this this playthrough comes to an end now. I'm letting go. I'm breaking these walls down, breaking these walls down. If you want to adventure, then fly to home. But if you want to travel, then go alone. Yeah, what's the point in us if I never know? If you're gonna leave, I'ma let you go.